First of all, you're not going to go any through tonight and keep it short and sweet. I want to welcome you all here to the tonight on what has been an absolutely tremendous occasion where we've been represented by four girls on the Galway senior team and intermediate. I don't think we'll ever see the likes of it again. And girls, from the deepest of our hearts, congratulations. <laughs> On behalf of the Morgan Club, I want to send a warm welcome to Catherine Kilkelly, Vice President of the Camorgi Board and President of our own, own club here. So Catherine, thank you for coming. Geraldine <laughs> McGrath, Chairperson of the Camorgi Board and your fellow officers, Geraldine. Joe Point, Chairman of the Holland Board and a prominent member of our club here in Canberra. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> Tony Ward and his management team. Tony, congratulations again. <laughs> and lastly, our goal here was our senior and intermediate All Ireland champions for 2013. I'm just going to throw you for five minutes on Camara Camogie Club. As you can see, we do produce good players. <laughs> so um, we have 100 members. There's 80 active playing members. It's a small club. We're proud of it. I, I don't think anyone doubts that. Look at the turnout tonight. It's for you girls, and it's for the girls and boys down there looking up at you. This is what it's all about. We are a small club and have four girls down the maroon and white jersey. I can tell you girls, personally speaking for me alone, I can never witness it and what has done since last Sunday will never happen in this club again. It is an absolute honour, the talk and the atmosphere and the banquet that's going on, it's second to none. So girls, well done. Emma, Sinead, Roji and Cadet, what can we say? You went to Crow Park last Sunday, you stood out, you done what you had to do, you came home, not for one in All-Ireland, you came home two All-Irelands. <laughs> Tony Ward, what can we say about you? You've been there, done that, I don't think last Sunday morning going to Dublin, you'd think this dream would come through. The one thing I'd say about you, Tony, I, adm I admire you. You brought two all Ireland's. I don't know that many people know this. In 96, you were also manager. You brought an All-Ireland home. The three all Ireland's we have, courtesy of you, Tony. Another thing that stands out for us on the 96 All-Ireland, we also had a member of the Canberra Camogie team in Veronica Curtin. <laughs> oh, we just about five minutes left. <laughs> I want to be special mention, she was sitting in the car for the last two hours, I had to nearly push her out, Catherine Kilkelly. I was serving to Dean Catherine Kibali Kamogi and Kimbara Kamogi. <laughs> you go out, you do the job if you're asked. I was thinking coming down here tonight if you had a lot of ticket and we didn't put two more in our pocket, you'd nearly sell us the ticket. <laughs> the other person I want to mention, and I, I admired him for years and years, he's the quiet man, the gentle giant of Galway Kamogi, Mr. Frank Duane. <laughs> And folks, finally the moment you've been waiting for. I'm going to call out our four girls. We will ask Shania to talk first. I think the other three might be shy, but we might get two minutes out of them. <laughs> Shania, <laughs> Rodin Cannon, Emika Kelly, and Kelek Gill.
justice, but the last three days since Sunday have been the best days of our lives. And people have said to me since Sunday, you won't ever beat the feeling of walking up the Hogan stand to collect a cup. But I can say here and now that getting off the bus with my three best friends absolutely rivals that. And I know you've all come out to see us and it means absolutely everything to us. That's from the bottom of our hearts. We couldn't have done this without everyone. Thank yous, but just to reiterate, um, a huge, huge thank you to the management, to Tony and all the guys. Um, I'm not sure exactly how he picked me as captain, but I'm uh, <laughs> incredibly honoured and privileged and to be able to come back to Kinvara with the cup and just present it to you with the three girls here just means absolutely everything to us. It's a dream come true. <laughs> what's so special about coming back to Kinvara is that we're coming here to share the joy with our closest friends, our club mates, all the little kids that have followed us to Crow Park and back again, and our family. Without our families, we will be nowhere. And because the four of us never leave each other's sides, our four families tend to follow us around as well. <laughs> so, um, I know the other girls are going to talk, but just for my own family, Mam, Dad, Paul and Steve, you have been there all, all our lives, all our lives. And for us to be able to repay ye, and I know it means as much that the three girls behind me were a part of this, or probably means even more that the three girls behind me were part of this than it does that I was captain. That's just how close they are. That's how much they love these three girls like their own daughters. Um, and just every time, we've had a lot of knocks, but every time they've picked us up, they've wiped our tears, and we can't explain exactly how grateful I am to Mam, Dad, Paul and Steve that we have got to this day, finally. <laughs> that are here in front of us. We started off the exact same as ye, up in the pitch, messing around, tripping over our hearts, tripping over each other. <laughs> but we worked hard, we played on our Kibari jerseys and we trained hard every day. And look where we are now. And in years to come, I genuinely hope that some of ye are up here in our place. over to the other girls. I don't think anybody can understand how much support we've got from these people here in front of us. Our phones have been ringing off the hook, text messages have been coming, Facebook messages have been coming. The support has been incredibly humbling, overwhelming at times and just we're so so happy that we can bring some joy and pride to our parish and we have worked all our lives for this but this is for you. We thank you from the very, very bottom of our hearts for coming out here to meet us and to share this wonderful few days with us. Just thankful. I don't know what to say really. 
Um, you've just been unbelievable and to come back to Kinrara tonight with my three best friends by my side and two cups, um, it'll never be topped ever. Um, myself and the three girls have had many ups and downs on and off the beach. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but um, I safely say it was the best moment of my life um, sharing to all Ireland's back here in Kinvara with them and with other girls as Ryan was said in our speech in the whole and saying uh, each and one, every one of you 50, two girls were all best friends, so thanks girls. Families, thanks a million. Um, I told Colin there last night that I gave him a few goalie lessons. <laughs> 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 um, and Dad and Holly, you've been unbelievable, so thanks a million. And um, I pass you on to Udofi. But, um, there's a lot, an awful thank you has been said over the last couple of days, but um, just to thank each and every one of you who came out tonight to welcome us home. Um, like it's such a proud moment for us and our families, like it's great to be back. Um, just firstly, I, I'd like to thank everyone that gave so generously. I know there's some of you here like, with sponsorship and stuff um, over the last couple of weeks. Um, your help goes a very long way. Um, just to say thanks very much um, for giving so generously. Um, just to thanks to everyone who made it possible. Um, to the guys behind me, um, to our management team, Tony, Decky, Lee, Aurelia, Shamey. You know, it, it, it's 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 been a long year and it's been a quick year, but uh, thank God we we, um, we finally have two cu two cups back um, tonight with us. Just to everyone who travelled up to the match as well, it was it was great and all your support and. To the girls who came last Saturday morning to Athenoy uh, to the open day and the parents were bringing them along, it was great to see them there. Um, and just finally, thanks to my own family. Um, they must be nearly getting sick of following me around the country at this stage. Um, but at last, they had something to celebrate in Co Park um, on Sunday. So thanks a million. I don't have much left to say. Um, <laughs> 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 so I have a good few days and the voice is starting to go. But guys, uh, two all in cups and six medals between us. I don't think we'll ever top this day at this night here in Kimara. It's absolutely fantastic to see such a crowd. Um, especially our families here and our friends. It's been absolutely fantastic. No more than what the girls have said. You followed us everywhere and we really appreciate it. I'd like to say a special word of thanks to Kimara Kamogi Club. You've been absolutely amazing. Um, all the support we've gotten from you over the years. So thanks very much for everything. <laughs> I'd also like to say that the lads aren't so bad either. The Highland Club have been great and the messages have come in and lads signs and everything that have gone up. The Highland Club and the Kamogi Club work very closely together. And it's a credit to Kimara tonight to see this crowd here. Woo! I'm looking down here at the young people in front of me, and I'm sure it's past your bedtime, and your parents are anxious to get you home. <laughs> <laughs> Especially the Camogie girls. I'm seeing some faces here that are at all our matches. Water girls, he follow us everywhere. And I know you look up to us and we're hoping someday we'll be down there looking up at you. Keep the hard work up, the training, and fair play to the coaches and everyone who puts in hard work at underage level. <laughs> the last word is to all your management and the 52 pairs behind me, we're double our Ireland champions. Let's have a great night.